The prototype of this racket was released in limited numbers earlier in the year, but now it's officially here. This is the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Wilson Shift Pro. Designed for the modern player, this racket is torsionally stiff, which helps with added stability and power. It also features a flexible feel laterally for increased dwell time and spin. Spec-wise, it is 99 square inches, just under 12 ounces strong with a 23.5 millimeter beam and features a precise 18 by 20 string pattern. Under the paint, the graphite fibers assist with the frame's bending to complement explosive strokes and a comfortable feel. Loaded with a blend of precision, power, access to spin, this will be a racket worth a demo. This was kind of like a three-part play test for us as we got to hit these rackets initially blacked out before knowing anything about them. Then the prototypes came out and now this is the official version, paint job, all of the above of this racket. From the beginning, I have noticed that really amazing pocketing that this racket produces. It reminds me a lot of the Clash. However, this racket felt so much more dialed in in terms of control and precision. It also felt much more stable and solid for me. I'm not gonna be the play tester that loves the 18 by 20 string patterns, but I didn't feel super limited with this one. I did notice the tra trajectory of the ball was not as high as with a 16 by 19, but I did appreciate that added control. If I were to have one knock on this racket, the feel is pretty muted. I wasn't always super dialed in with where my shots were going, but it, the string bed did pocket well, it felt great. I really enjoyed it on serves and felt pretty good on my ground strokes as well. For a little bit more control and mass behind the ball, might want to check out the Shift Pro. From my very first shift on court, for this play test with this uh, Shift Pro. There was a lot of things I really liked about this racket. Uh, first thing I noticed was the weight balance swing weight. Uh, felt pretty dialed in. I liked the solid, stable feel and nice plow through on my ground strokes. Um, comparing the feel of this racket to say maybe the Clash, there is a bit of that dampened sort of muted response, but I did like um, the overall firmer layup as far as the flex goes. Felt like I got a little bit more pop, um, a little bit more point and shoot type feel, um, especially from uh, the baseline and at net. And I also felt like for an 1820, I was getting good penetration through the court on my uh, ground strokes and on the uh, flat first serve. If I had to knock this racket, um, I will say that uh, spin was decent for being an 1820. It felt like it, the, the ball sat on the strings, it pocketed well. But as I hit the, the lighter weight version, I did like a little bit more open spacing in the strings with that 1620 pattern. So that was one thing. And also just maybe the touch and feel and feedback was a little dampened for me. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Wilson Blade 98 and also the Wilson 6195. So it was just maybe just a feel thing overall, but uh, an impressive introduction to the shift. The more time I spent on court with this version of the shift, the more I enjoyed the racket and learned what I could do with the racket and what it would bring to my game. And that was a lot of spin. Um, out of an 1820 racket, I don't think I've found one as spin friendly as this, getting a really nice loop on my shots. This racket, the way it, it flexes and breathes as you hit the ball, it definitely gives you a nice launch. I feel like it holds the ball on the strings for a long time. I get good net clearance um, and then it drops inside the court. As long as I've got that top spin rolling or heavy slice, finding my targets, getting the ball well within the side of the lines. And I could be really creative with it. I loved it when I was hitting angles. Uh, I could flick lobs with it, uh, running flat out. It's some my best uh, down the line winners with this because I could get the ball up and over the net so quickly thanks to the spin friendly response. I think it's got great access to pace. So on my serves and on my ground strokes, I felt like I could really push my opponent off the baseline and take uh, control of the point quickly. My one knock really is when I would hit the ball flat, I use the Speed Pro, I'm on a flat shot, I get very dialed in. With that racket, with this one, I tended to spray the ball a little bit long. So what I did was I just focused on getting, uh, getting over it, getting some spin on the ball, and then everything fell within the lines and I really enjoyed it. And just the more time I spent with it, the more I got dialed into that spin friendly list and really got creative with this racket. So super fun play test for me. We tried this shift racket with many different strings. Today for the review, we've got Luxlon Alu Power at 52 pounds. For more information on this rack or anything else tennis related, be sure to go to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.